Hello. All right, so the Oscars are in like an hour. So I'm gonna get throw this out real quick. So if I'm right, you guys can be like, oh, he's a psych. He knows the future. So yeah, I have an Oscar ball here. The half of these categories I do not care about, nor have any method of telling what movie would be good in it. So I'm just gonna skip over the big ones real quick. Uh, best picture. The one that I think will win, my prediction, so I'll first I'll go prediction, then we'll go what I think deserves it. Prediction is Boyhood, and what I hope wins is anything but Boyhood. Birdman is my vote, but I'd be happy with American Sniper or Whiplash or even the Grand Budapest Hotel. There's actually a lot, solid list of movies here. I mean, I didn't see the other three, but Boyhood is so overrated. Please don't give it to Boyhood. It's not that good of a movie. Best Actor. Uh, let's see, who's gonna win? I, hmm, I'm not sure. Well, it won't be Steve Carell, won't be Bradley Cooper. Uh, it'll probably be Eddie Redmayne, but it might be Michael Keaton. And my vote is Michael Keaton. So again, I, that's the only movie, let's see. No, I saw most of these movies. Bradley Cooper didn't deserve it. Steve Carell was great, but I think I would give it to Michael Keaton. I think he's my favorite. So, yeah. Alright, with the Best Actress category, I don't see enough of the movies that the Best Actress performances are usually in. It's like, still Alice and like, like, those movies tend to be movies that I'm just not interested in at all. Like, um, when, uh, Kate Blanchett won for Blue Jasmine, I tried to watch Blue Jasmine, I'm like, this is boring. Like, I don't know how good her performance is gonna be, because I'm only like, ten minutes in the movie and I turned it off. It's so boring. So, I usually don't look at things like that. However, Reese with a spoon, uh, not impressed. I was not impressed. Rosamund Pike for Gone Girl wasn't really impressed. So I don't know. And again, the other three might be even worse. So whatever. Julianne Moore. So yeah. But supporting actor didn't see. Ethan Hawke was fine. Edward Norton would be good, but it should definitely go to J.K. Simmons. I think it's gonna go to J.K. Simmons. That's my prediction. The supporting actress. Uh, I just saw almost all of these for the Best Supporting Actress. Laura Dern and Wilde? What? No. Oh, definitely don't give it to her. Patricia Arquette in Boyhood, she will probably win. And I think she was fine. Like, she was good, but not... Again, I'm just not blown away by these female performances. Last time, I thought, like, a woman deserved... Oh, yeah, I just, I'm some super sexist. But Scarlett Johansson and her absolutely deserved an Oscar nomination. And I'm like... But you never see her face. It's like, but I cared about her character in that movie way more than I do in any of these. So, uh, Keira Knightley, haven't seen. Emma Stone, Birdman, good, but don't think it deserves an Oscar. Meryl Streep, Into the Woods. If you give it to Meryl Streep for Into the Woods, I swear to you. Best animated feature. Again, another category <laughs> this year. I just saw Tale of Princess Kaguya. Was not impressed. Uh, Song of the Sea, didn't see. How to Train Your Dragon 2, also saw it. Like, everyone's saying it's really good. Not impressed. How to Train Your Dragon 2 will probably win. Uh, I didn't see Big Hero 6, and I didn't see Box Trolls. Sorry. My vote is Box Trolls. Cinematography will probably go to Birdman, and it better go to Birdman. That, that one-shot thing, that was genius. Costume design, I don't know. Not Don't give it to Maleficent. I guess Grand Budapest Hotel. That's my vote, and my what, what, what I think. This doesn't make any sense. Why do you have a Best Director category and a Best Picture category? The people who win the award for Best Picture are not the people who made the movie. They're the producers. They, like, paid for it and made some phone calls. The direct It's the director's movie. So to nominate a movie for Best Picture and then not to nominate the director is just like a slap in the face. And, man, this is weird. Um, no, not for Foxcatcher. Not, I haven't seen Imitation Game. Not for Boyhood. Definitely... Either Gonzales and Ritu or Wes Anderson. I think it's gonna go to Richard Linklater, which is a shame because he doesn't deserve it. But I want I want Birdman or Wes Anderson. Best documentary feature. Have not seen any of these. Um, the Salt of the Earth. That's my prediction. Best documentary short. Haven't seen any of these either. White Earth. Let's go Earth Earthly theme. Best film editing. Um, editing isn't really something I notice unless it's really bad. American Sniper, Best Foreign Language Film, Leviathan. That has like a 99 on Metacritic, so everyone likes that one. Best Makeup and Hairstyling. Alright, I guess I am kind of going through all of them. Whatever. But yeah, a lot of these are complete shots in the dark. Foxcatcher, that made Steve Carell look all weird. Best Original Score, um, 
Hans Zimmer, please, please, please give Hans Zimmer another Oscar for Interstellar. It is so good. The music I still want to keep listening to after I've seen the movie. But it's going to go to Alexander Desplat, unfortunately. Again, a, a decent enough score, but it's not amazing. Oh my god. Original song. <laughs> Like, I went online and listened to all of these that I didn't know, and they all suck! I hate them all! So, I don't care who wins, but it's gonna be the LEGO movie. Best production design. My vote is Interstellar, my prediction is Interstellar. Or, or Grand Budapest. Best animated short. Oh, Does one of these have Earth in the title? Feast. Oh, that's the one with the cute little dog with Disney. Alright, I vote for that one. Best live action shorts. Wow. Butter lamp. Random Oscar predictions. Best sound editing. You know, for all the things I liked and didn't like about The Hobbit and the things I think it should have gotten nominated for, sound editing? I mean, a lot of the the sword shing sounded kind of clanky and far off, and I thought that was weird. So, prediction Interstellar. Hopefulness is Interstellar. Sound mixing. That's the same thing. Oh my god, Interstellar. Best visual effects. Interstellar and Interstellar. Best Adapted Screenplay? I say Whiplash. Uh, it shouldn't be American Sniper, because apparently they didn't adapt the book properly. Because, you know, it's different from how it was in real life. And Best Original Screenplay. Wow, what a note to fart out on at the end. Should have saved visual effects for last. Richard Linklater for Boyhood. He's going to win everything. If it's not Boyhood, it's Birdman. And... Ooh, Nightcrawler. I think it should be Nightcrawler. Give it to Nightcrawler. That was pretty good. That was a movie I did see and didn't review, but it, it's a good movie. I think Jake Gyllenhaal probably should have gotten nominated, too. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about that. So, what are your Oscar predictions? I mean, if you don't want to go through all of them, sure. What do you think got snubbed? And what do you hope doesn't win because it's so overrated it doesn't deserve it? Put it in the comments. I'm Wesley Thompson. You like and subscribe. See ya. That was easy.